A doggone good time in Soulard this weekend at the annual Barkus Pet Parade. Ed Brock and Julie Kahn are here with a preview. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for having us. It is the most fun part of Mardi Gras, I think, of families with, with the children, seeing all these dogs. It absolutely is. This Sunday we are celebrating the 16th anniversary of the Begum Pet Parade. So we're going to throw a sweet 16 party and invite all of our four-legged friends to come on out and show us their most creative, Mardi Gras costume, share their passion for bacon, and help a good cause because proceeds from the parade benefit the Open Door Animal Sanctuary, which is one of the biggest no-kill shelters in our area. So really a real winner for everyone involved. You gonna be a judge? Uh, this year I'm not going to, I'm a retired judge. You're stepping yeah. down, but you brought your judging uh, experience with you today. I, I have, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Well, we have some dogs, and folks might have heard them in the background because they're anxious um, to get on. And let's let's start the show. How is that? We're going to have our own little modeling uh, pet parade version Absolutely. here in the studio. Absolutely, they cannot wait to come <laughs> on and show off their costumes. First, we have Alfredo, who is an absolutely gorgeous white Great Dane. He's a rescue dog, a little over two years old, and you can see he is dressed uh, as a horse. <laughs> yeah, and he is leading the way there. We, we could have told him to wait there a minute, but I think Alfredo does what he wants. He wanted. To leave, yeah. He and was, he weighs about 140 pounds. <laughs> so he's a great Dane way. horse. Yeah. All right, we've got Alfredo. Who else? This is a little Welsh Terrier, and her name is Rosie. She was actually one of the queens of the Begging Court last year. And this year she is trying to be what, Ed? Well, she's she's a queen again. <laughs> I can see that queen in her. Look at that. And so a delightful sweet. queen she is. All right. <laughs> she's beautiful. You can see she's comfortable with the cape. That's an important thing when you're dressing your dogs up to bring them out. Out. Make sure you try the costume on before you come out to the parade. Make sure they're comfortable with it and they're dressed appropriately for the weather. Yeah. What are um, we're gonna? Who, who else are we gonna bring out? And we can talk about what the judges look for. Okay. Now we have Baxter. Baxter was very eager to come off and to come on and show his costume. Ed, you want to describe what? Baxter? Well, I would describe this as, as flashing the fur. <laughs> <laughs> He's just showing off his natural beauty, his natural coat, and uh, sometimes the best costumes are just the simplest ones. Um, and this is a perfect example. And Baxter's in Newfoundland and still a puppy, just a little over one year old. I was more like a pony size, yeah, but he a is pony a dog. Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least. Finally, we have Maggie the Airedale, and she also was one of the queens last year. And this year, uh, this year, uh, he looks like he is the jester, <laughs> the court jester. The bling, though, and the bells, and look at that. And She's again, a very comfortable costume. It's uh, it's very important to, to, to have costumes that you know that your dog can can walk that whole parade in. Right. Do you look for unusual, there's always a hot dog dog dressed as a hot dog, or do you look for sure. flashy or what? Well, uh, it would be a combination of, that, that all fits in the category of creativity. <laughs> okay. And of course, the judges look for three basic things. Uh, the demeanor of the dog, the friendliness of the dog, uh, the use of the Mardi Gras colors are as part of the criteria as well and and uh, and then thirdly and probably at the top of the list is creativity be creative well the Began strips Barkus parade is this Sunday in Soulard a whole lot of fun registration opens at 10 the parade steps off at 1 near the intersection of Allen and Menard streets and you can go to BeganPetParade.com for details and we just get the meteorologist here to promise great weather and we'll be set for a fun I event. think we're going to be lucky. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we'll be back with a huge event coming to town this spring. Stay with us. Preview winner Susan Calcaterra of Troy. You win those home show tickets because Susan knows that the last names of Rich and Charlie of the Rich and Charlie restaurant fame were Ronzio and McGavro. McGavro. See, I didn't even know that. Excellent. Congratulations to you. That's all the time we have for today's show. If you missed something, go to KSDK.com and our show information is listed. We did not award our prize for our costume contest and we decided they're all winners, all adorable dogs. Have a great Valentine's Day and we will see you back here on Monday. All winners, everyone. Yay.